had a bit of a situation with my phone. Look at that, look. Look at that. You can see, after work this week, what I've been doing, I put my footings in for my wall. I've got to continue to block this up. But I don't want to block it up any higher yet, but I'm going to fire up this one, get it started off, and then... Uh, been over here yesterday look i got me lilies come out showers taking up room look at the cement i still got look at everything i got in here and the wife's going nuts look what i've done to the carpet I'm digging this out i can tap into this here and what i'm going to do now is fill this right up to here i was going to have a beer but it's a bit early for that tell you what it's damn hot hotter than a snake's ass in a chicken shed and that's hot having a bit of a clue though he works for the council doesn't he look that's what council worker does well Parks are being a butcher, see? The reason why I've done this, basically, filled in the back of that. That there took a load of cement in the back of there as well. This is gonna be my pillar, gonna build it right up. And her backside just lent on it, she pushed on it and knocked the block off. Hallelujah. Thank your mother for the fosters. Well, this is the first barbecue of the year I've had, or having, should I say. Get on, Rambo! That's the hammer boy! Right then everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna give you a bit of a rundown of what I've been doing this week after work. I had a bit of a situation with my phone, so I'm using my wife's phone at the moment. So I was out doing some block work the other night. I had the phone in my pocket, I had my shorts on, and I dropped the phone out of my pocket into a bucket. So I'm waiting for the insurance company to get back hold of me, send me out a new phone, but the problem being I've lost all the footage that I had on my phone. These things happen, Never mind. But I'll spin you around, show you what I've been doing this week, and show you what I'm doing today. As you can see, after work this week, what I've been doing, I put my footings in for my wall, created myself a bit of a foundation, tied it into the same level of what this is, took a little bit of working out to make sure that my block tied in to the same level at the back. So I've just built a wall here. This is where the gate's going to go. Last night I was out, I started building my pillar to hang the gate off of, which ties directly in front of the back of the filter house as well i've got to continue to block this up but i don't want to block it up any higher yet until i get the back of the woodwork on and get the osb sheets on because i'm not sure how far of an overlap that comes to see if i need to leave a gap so i'm just waiting for next weekend all the woods turning up so the frames going on the pond and that's all being said but today basically what i'm doing filling behind the back of the wall here today obviously to get my garden square this is how much garden that i've had to lose not really worried about it but from visual points of view looking out when this gets fenced on top all the way across it'll be the same height as what this is i'm going to knock that fence out i'm going to leave the wall there there's no point me taking down that other wall and just getting rid of more block work when it's behind there and you ain't going to see it but across the front it'll be square and then it'll tie in square to the pond which runs all the way up through so the door for the filter house is there the door for the back access will be there which i'll be building that myself as well going to fire up the mixer today i've also got my water gas and electric all ready to come into the filter house i was thinking about to be honest with you last night i had this block out i was going to bring everything through this block but i decided not to so i put the block back in re-cemented it back in and i've got a different way of putting it in i'll show you all that in a second but i'm going to fire up this one get it started off let's just tidy up everything today tidy up Everything I've got to fill in behind the back here. I've also filled in behind the back here as well. I've just boarded up here, so I'm gonna fill in behind the back of there. Get all that filled in with concrete today. Fill in this patch here, so I've got a nice level area for my gate to go on. So this is what I made with the foundation from the base. I needed to make sure that it finished the same height of this existing up here. So I've done a little bit of working out and it tied in exactly how I wanted it to be fair. I'm going to fill in the back of here, obviously fill in all of that and just use up everything I've got here pretty much, use up as much as I possibly can because all the woodwork that I've got turning up, I need to store it somewhere for when it turns up. So I'm planning to give a bit of a bit of a tidy up today. I even had, I looked in over here yesterday, look, I got me lilies come out. They've come out the best they've ever have, and I can't even see them this year. Can't even see them. But hopefully, I'll get things sorted. Let's just crack on with today's video, see what we got going on. I know it's probably not going to be the best and interesting video that I normally put out, but I'm going to do my best. And then later on, I'm going to explain 
how I'm going to be framing my pond, how I'm going to be putting the roof over the pond, the filter house. And I'll just run you through bits and pieces throughout the day of what I'm planning to do. And then hopefully by next weekend, all of the woods here. I was hoping it was going to turn up this weekend. Look at the weather. It's absolutely banging. I was hoping it was going to turn up this weekend. It would have been absolutely lush to get out here this weekend and do all of the framework and knock up the roof and get everything stored into there. Because, I mean, look at the state of this in here. Look at these showers taking up room. Look at the cement I still got. Look at everything I got in here and the wife's going nuts. Look what I've done to the carpet. It's not actual tiles. It's Flotex. But the wife ain't too best impressed. I wore out me... Uh, me Reeboks, they've had their day. So what I did, I ordered myself up a pair of Slassengers, $13.99. These will do the bizzle, just while I'm out here, having a bit of fun, cracking on with the jobs that I need to crack on with. I've had this gully drain out as well this morning. I'm just working out, because I was on about running all the way across the front of the pond. Well, the wife don't really want it to be all the way across the front of the pond. She thinks it'll be too much of an eyesore. And to be fair with you, I don't think I really need it. Time the pond gets fiberglassed and I time everything's done here, I'm going to slope it off here, drop it down. I'm probably going to run the gully drain across the front of the filter house and then tap into here. So I started digging this out. I can tap into this here and then just run the gully drain just across the face of here and have this at a different level so it steps off. So when I eventually run all of my sandstone slabs all the way across here i'll have a drop off and then it'll run at that area and then this is where my barbecue area bar everything's going to be built here and i'll show you all that but hopefully let's tidy up a bit today get a load of things sorted and then i can explain what's happening where things are going from here and let's just crack on with the video thank you mother for the rabbits i'm plowing on behind the back of here i'm filling up Basically, I've stopped the gully drain there. I'm just going to fill up this little section and slope it down this way to the drain. Not that any water will ever get behind the pond, really, because it's all going to be roofed right up to the very back. But I had my plumber out yesterday. Top, top lad he is. Basically, he told me that what we need to do, we needed to put some brackets on the, on the actual back of the pond wall yesterday. We needed to make sure that all of the pipes were separate, coming in through separate ducts. So what we did yesterday, we put all of the... We, we basically fed all of the pipes through separate ducts, just so, I mean, it's a bit overkill for what it is, but what we're going to use is some expanding foam inside of there. But I had a load of drainage left over. So what we decided to do was give ourselves plenty of playing room. So we got plenty of flex on all of these pipes, which we can move around. And we're going to tee off a 90 off of there, a 90 off of there, and the electric can come straight in. And it just tidies everything up. It's all pinned against my wall. And it just tidies it all up. And it's just a little bit better job of doing it. And, uh, well, more than happy with it. So what I'm going to do now is fill this right up to here. And then, obviously, gives us a bit of playing room for moving the pipe to, to bring it into the filter house when we get there. So, uh, happy, happy days. And um, when my plumber comes out to fit my boiler and do all my water, I'm going to film all that, show you what's happening. Because he's got some wicked ideas for me. And um, it's going to look hell of a fancy. So wait until this all gets built and you'll see that. But happy, happy days. So let's crack on with the video. I'm going to keep filling this up now. I'm going to meet it back there. I'll probably have to knock this these pipes off just so I can get this nice and flush against the pond wall here. And then fill this all with concrete. I've just put a board in there just to stop it spilling out over. I'm probably going to have to put some blocks in the back there to stop it coming right out over. And then I'll meet that with that in a minute. Let's crack on and let's see what we get. Let's fire this one back up because I need some more. Happy days. Right then, ladies and gents. I'll tell you what, it is hot. Real hot, to be honest with you. I was going to have a beer, but it's a bit early for that. So what I decided to do was give myself an orange. I will be having a beer this afternoon, no, because... Football's on, not that I'm a massive football fan, but I do support the England. And uh, well, I'm gonna have a few beers, watch that this afternoon, but I'm just showing you where I'm at. I'm plowing on the day. Tell you what, it is damn hot. Hotter than a snake's ass in a chicken shed, and that's hot. Right, as you can see, I've nearly used that whole dumpy bag already, and I ain't even filled in behind there yet. But I got one more mix to do, I reckon. He's been running flat out. I'll just spin you in round here, show you what's happening. So, I've sorted out the gully drain. I've got to tidy up a bit of the overspill here. I'll get the old rag out and give this a bit of a clean off in a second. Just waiting for the water to buffer out so then I can just polish that out. 
and then uh well you can sort of see it taking shape here now coming up through but you wouldn't believe it the amount of aggregate and cement that i've used here i'll tell you one thing for sure if i ever move i certainly wouldn't want to take all this out because it would be hell of a job hell of a job but i'm putting it in there so it stays there for the rest of its life but you can see what i mean about this how it tidies it all up brings it all in through when this is all finished it will look a lot neater and tidier and it just be more easier to access and manage happy days let's crack on get another mix fired up got to crack on see because i want a beer this afternoon half past 10 is a bit early for a beer but look at the weather absolutely banging today having a bit of a clean down done all this cement in i'll show you in a minute moved everything to the filter house having a bit of a clean down we haven't seen this garden back for about how many weeks sweetheart Weeds, more like months. Months, months, she says. But we're going to have a barbecue in a minute, so we're going to get rid of all of this. Fire up a little disposable, because I got rid of my barbecue. I put it over the farm. But we're going to fire up the barbie, and I'm going to sink a gallon or ten. <laughs> Tell you what, look. Tell he works for the council, doesn't he, look? That's what a council worker does. <laughs> all day long. Just stand there like this. Not a proper grafter like me. Tell you what, we'll catch you in a minute when it's all done. Well, perks are being a butcher, see? But it's only a little barbecue, nothing special, because my setup I've got all over the farm at the moment. But with weather like it is, with the England football game just about to kick off, I've got to fire up this one. Got to sink about 10, 12 gallon. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you what I've done today. I'm going to put that there for a second. So, where we're at, this has all been filled in all the way back. You can see I've put a little drain off in it. So the reason why I've done this, basically, any water that sits here, because I was running low on cement and concrete i didn't want to just keep filling it up to this height all the way back so what i've done i've sloped it this way so it goes level behind the pond all the way up through there which runs down to the drain obviously and then from here it slopes downwards and then i put a little all i did to get this in here i literally put a tube in there inch and inch tube bedded it in the concrete smoothed it out and then just lifted the tube out and just ran that tube back and forward and it creates yourself a natural drain pretty much so any of the water that sits in there will run back but yeah all the pipes coming in nice and neat now you can see that pretty tidy show you what else i've done today i filled in the back of that that there took a load of cement in the back of there as well happy day same again it's higher up that way slopes off rounded it off here the other night so this it will be painted but i'm never going to see it i'm just going to chuck some waterproof paint on it some garage floor paint and then obviously down the back here i filled in down the back and that's all of me cement gone so i've uh give the mixer a good old pressure wash cleaned the off i mean you clean it it looks sparkling clean and then when it dries again you get the dust come back on it like that but nothing to really worry about he done what he needed to do well happy with that he done exactly what i wanted to do so he's packed away at the moment i've put this up here i've stopped this here i've got one more course of blocks to lay here on my foundation for the pure fact of this is going to be my pillar going to build it right up but i don't want to continue to build this up yet because i don't know if i need a little gap behind here for when i put my i'm just leaving it for a minute so when the roof goes on the back of the pond and the side walls go on i might need to overhang slightly so then i can offset that block back before i continue to build the pillar up so i'm just leaving that off for a minute but the three blocks are ready to rock and roll i've got to lay another block in there the wife was out here with me the other night before i put my tie in across and the structure for the wood going up basically there was a little hole here and her backside just lent on it she pushed on it and knocked the block off but i'll, I'll whack that one on there i'll get it done but I'm having a beer now. I'm going to fire up this one, have a few gallon, and, um, well, go in and watch the England game. So I'll be back with you in a bit. Well, this is the first barbecue of the year I've had, or having, should I say. It's only a disposable, but...
but it's gonna be the absolute hammer. You can't beat cooking food off a nice coal. That being said, it ain't nothing special, but I'm buzzing now. Beers are open. Time for me to enjoy myself, I think. I've worked more than hard enough. What do you reckon? I've worked hard enough or what? Look at this, look. Look at that. Look at that. Do you love the sound of that? Hallelujah. Thank your mother for the fosters. <sighs> Hallelujah. Get on, Rambo. That's the hammer, boy. Thank your mother for Vasey's butcher's meat. Happy days. Just wanted to inform you all as well. Wood's turning up on Wednesday. So I've got all of the timber turning up Wednesday. I got a hell of a load of it turning up. I got 40 lengths of 4x2, six lengths of 6x2. I got OSB for doing the roof, OSB for doing the, the sides internal, inside and outside. All my bolts, all my screws. By next weekend, I've got my mate coming over to give me an hand because whenever you're doing timber, especially long lengths, 4.8 so I've got, 4.8 meter that is, holding long lengths to go across the whole length of the pond. I'm gonna do it in two sections. So, well, to be fair with you, if you check back next weekend, you'll see exactly what I've done. It'd be easier to see the video instead of me trying to explain it. I've had a few now, so the, uh, the old tongue starts slurring a bit. But that being said, look, only a quick video this week just to show you what's happening, what I've done, where I've been to this week and what, what I've been up to. But you can see there's always progress being made. I'm not one to sit on my hands and think, I haven't got time to do this, I ain't got time to do that. You've got to make yourself time. Show no mercy on it. So on that note, I'm going to sink a few more of these. I might catch you in a minute with, uh, with me. Well, that's it. I'm ending the video. I've had enough. I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you on the Fosters. Now you decide to come home, do you? Yeah, come home from work now. Now I'm here to help. Look at that, that loads on. I've done two piles of Still got four piles there. And put all that as well.